Okay, as you might have guessed, based on the title of this lesson, our story is about Genghis Khan and his father. So go ahead and turn your page to page 236. This is our source text, what we'll be reading. So in this video, I am going to read through the, the source text. If you would rather read this on your own as your family, just you and your child slash children, you can go ahead and stop this video and move on to the next one. If you would like to um, hear me read it aloud to my girls as we're going through this, then can, by all means, continue on with the video. But all this video is going to be, this section is just me reading our Genghis Khan and his hawk source text. Okay, Genghis Khan ruled the huge Mongolian empire in the early 1200s. He was a ruthless warrior and a respected king who commanded multitudes. When he was not at war, the Khan enjoyed his favorite sport of hunting. And when he hunted, his loyal hawk always accompanied him. His hawk was his best friend. He loved his master and he loved hunting. With his keen eyes and his master's great skill, their hunting expeditions were always a success. One day while on a hunt, the Khan wandered farther than he had intended. In an intense chase, a deer had led him out of the shade of the forest trees, and he found himself in a barren field with the sun beating down on his head. He was hot and thirsty. He had to find water soon, so he stopped pursuing the deer, which had disappeared anyway, and headed back to the forest to look for a stream. As he approached the forest, he heard the soft, constant trickling of water. He followed the sound. It led him to a high cluster of massive rocks, over which a small flow of crystal clear water fell. It was a welcome sight. The Khan quickly took his cup from his pack and placed it under the stream. When the cup was filled, he brought it to his lips, anticipating how cool and refreshing it would be. However, before he could take a drink, his hawk swooped down and knocked the cup from his hand. The Khan was stunned and angered by this apparently cruel action and stated, or and shouted, you crazy bird, you spilled my water all over the ground. The Khan picked up his cup and again filled it with water, but again, when he lifted it to his lips, the hawk flew down and knocked the cup from his hand. Insolent bird, he yelled as he waved his arms at his hawk. You'll not deprive me of a drink a third time. With that, the Khan readied his sword. When the bird dove for the cup a third time, the Khan struck him with his sword. The bird plummeted to the ground, dead. Now, by the time the Khan retrieved his cup, the flow of water had diminished so much that the cup was only filling one drop at a time. Impatiently, the Khan decided to climb higher to find the source of the flow. As he neared the top ledge, he spotted a large pool. As he looked closer, he was aghast at what he saw. In the pool was a dead viper cut at the throat so that all its deadly venom spilled into the water. What have I done? He lamented, for at that moment he realized that his hawk had not only been trying to save, or that his hawk had only been trying to save his life. I have killed my best friend. What a rash fool I was not to have trusted him and to have let my temper consume me so. With that, he climbed down the rocks, picked up the stricken bird, and headed home. He had lost a friend, but he had learned a valuable lesson he would never forget.